Hi Pisces, how are you? Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. I hope you all are doing well. Let's see what messages are coming in for Pisces in both Sidereal Vedic Astrology and Western Tropical Astrology, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node placements. If you are new here, welcome. If you like the video, please hit the like button as well as subscribe for me. It'll help my small channel to grow and help you to see when I upload for your other natal chart placements. And if you are returning, welcome back. It has been a while. So what do the Pisceans watching this need to know right now? What's going on for them? What is going on for Pisces right now? We have whew, grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. So, I mean... Neptune is retrograde right now. Okay, we just had this. I don't know about you guys. I have a Pisces moon in Western astrology, and I feel like my energy has been gone the past couple of days. I feel like this new cancer, this can this um new moon that was in cancer, plus you know, cancer season in Western has really been um emotional and it's been a little bit tiresome so I don't know about you guys but yeah let me know below how you've been feeling if you feel led to okay so grief so you guys this is like five of cups energy I'm getting so something it's like you some of you guys know you need to end something but you can't bring yourself to do it <laughs> okay that's the first message that I got yeah I can't make this up. Look at this. The death card, right? I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Some, some of you guys are sad over something that's ended, that needs to end, that's been ended for a while. I know as Pisces, we love hard. We hold on for dear life, right? <laughs> so, um, gosh, could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm getting like heavy five of cups power energy here okay some of you guys this was something that you invested a lot of time a lot of energy in it's like you persevered in whatever this is some of you guys it's a job some of you guys it's a lover um some of you guys it's like a friendship that you a person you gave chance after chance so yeah i don't oh this is serious energy pisces <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say so right now saturn is retrograde in aquarius which is your 12th house okay so a lot of karmic lessons um revolving um any type of illusions that you've had or any type of rose colored glasses that you've been wearing i feel like all of that is dropping off with the saturn retrograde and with neptune retrograde it's like you know, it's like you're you're gonna see the lesson today, right? Is 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 what I feel is coming through. Gosh, not the King of Swords in reverse. Whew. Snail, Pisces. Okay, so there could some, there could be someone that you're either not talking to or you just don't have great communication with this person. Um <laughs> yeah, for some of you guys, okay. King of Swords in reverse, I'm not going to lie, is a selfish person that can be a narcissist or it can be or has narcissistic tendencies. I don't want to throw that word around, but you could be really dealing with somebody that's not in touch with their heart space, okay? You could be dealing with someone that you catch lying or that you've caught lying or you've caught in some type of deception. With the Page of Pentacles, it could have even involved a child in the past or it could even involve communication, okay? Um, with the Ace of Pentacles here, for some of you guys, this is somebody that you've been dealing with for a while. For others of you, um, this is somebody that is, um, it's like they're keeping an eye on you. And I feel this is the type of person that if they get communication, it's like they want you to communicate with them. Part of them wants to offer you this new beginning with this Ace of Pentacles here. But it's like they're not communicating that. And they're not communicating that for egoic reasons. Does that make sense? So it's like somebody, you see how he, um, how he's, you know, making her drink this, uh, this drink that she's drinking here. I feel like this person gets a kick over the control of um, um, the domination of, um, I don't 
don't want to say dom well domination of people or just domination of uh the environment is what i'm getting okay and then this is the type of person where if you call them out on what it is that they're doing they're going to flip it around on you does that make sense who are you guys dealing with okay now for all of you it's not it's it's not the extent of that it's just you could be dealing with somebody that is being very cold right now and that's not living in their truth with the king of swords in reverse okay so just just take it as you will this is someone that is really keeping to themselves or they could be keeping a lot hidden okay pisces what else does pisces need to know why is the king of swords reversed here yeah seven of cups i feel like this is somebody where for some of you guys, it's been seven, seven months since you've talked with this person. For others of you, you know, you've known them for a year or you've known them for years, okay? With the Seven of Cups here, I feel like this is somebody that's left you in a state of confusion because you just don't know exactly what it is that they want, okay? Because they're not communicating exactly what they want. And even when they are communicating, they're not necessarily being um, upfront, okay? They're not com being completely honest, but they're watching you with the Page of Swords. <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, okay? Um, definitely dealing with somebody that is, um, there could be even immature communication between you guys, okay? For some of you, there could have been something that you've seen on this person's phone, okay? Or something that you found out through some type of communication. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, we have the Empress here, and we have the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Lover's card here. Okay, some of you guys, this could be some type of a soul connection with the Lover's card. Definitely somebody that you've had a lot of chemistry with, Pisces, okay? What I'm getting, though, with the Page of Pentacles and the Empress here, multiple scenarios. For some of you guys, um, this could be a spouse, okay? The Empress is married. For others of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody that had a child with somebody else, okay? And you have realized that they have not stopped dealing with this person, okay? That they're keeping this person in some type of unhealthy dynamic rotation, okay? Um, for others of you, they want to communicate that they do want to grow with you. For some of you guys, you guys could be getting pregnant over the next few months, okay? You could be having a child with this person. Um, for others of you... I feel like this person sees you as somebody that they can build with, with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like they want to grow what you have. If you already, you know, if this is, if some of you guys, this is a new person that's coming in, okay? You have a new person that's coming in that wants to build with you. Others of you, you actually have, you know, this person here that really wants to offer you something. Some of you, they've even, you know, pictured marrying you. If they're not married you, they've pictured, you know, proposing to you and things of that sort. But the problem that I'm having is the Knight of Cups is in reverse underneath it. Okay. So what I like to do is look at these four cards on the corners of this spread as well, because that shows me that, look, someone is being manipulative, not being honest about an offer that they want to give, and they're not moving forward and expressing love. Also with the Knight of Cups in reverse, it's like, um, even though they want you, they're not going to let you know that, okay? Even if they want to work on things, they're not going to let you know that. The Knight of Cups in reverse, this is somebody that is a, for some of you, it's a water sign leading you on, okay? It's an earth sign leading you on. And that's what needs to end here. The illusion that this person is going to change. Because for some of you, um, you know, their frontal, their, front, their frontal lobe is already developed, okay? They're not changing. They're not wanting to change. For some of you, this person likes to keep their options open or this person is so confused about what it is that they want. They don't have healthy boundaries with other people. And so, you know, they have exes floating in and out of their energy or they have, you know, they're very impressionable. They'll do things to please other people. Um, but at the same time, you're like, OK, well, why are you letting other people take advantage of you? But yet here you are being cold and domineering to me. So this is a really interesting dynamic that you guys have with somebody, okay? Nine of Cups in reverse, this person could also be jealous or possessive. They could be worried about you meeting somebody new, okay? That's for some of you. For some of you guys, it's just there's a choice that needs to be made. Some of you guys have multiple options. If you do have multiple options, what I will say is stay away from the air sign and the water sign. Go with the earth sign. Because if you're looking, look, the earth sign cards are upright. 
and these water sign cards that are court cards symbolizing people are in reverse so that you know that is also some advice here okay um what what will happen with pisces and this past person that they you know this king of swords reverse that they've been connecting with what's going on with pisces and this past person what's the outcome we have the chariot here and the justice so some of you guys with this past person um this can go either way either the past person they're going to travel towards you to make things right because they're serving just uh karma for how they've treated you okay or um, some of you guys are going to move on from this past person, okay, and th their karma is going to be you moving on, okay? Some of, the, some of you that's taking place already, Cancer season to Libra, um, Libra season, okay? Yeah, for some of you, some of you, someone that you have kids with or someone from the past, okay? For this new person here, I would say take time to get to know them because they also could be emotionally guarded too, okay? But at the same time, um, if the new person is an earth sign, I see that going a lot better. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Please let me know if this resonates. Um, if you want a personal reading, I'll have the link down below. Namaste.